hello everyone i'm back with another video um today we're going to be doing bible verses um i got a few videos that i'm going to be uploading um i want to take the time to thank everyone for your love your support your light shares your donations your super chats i really appreciate you i cannot build my channel without you so i do want to first thank you all Okay, we're going to get straight into it. I opened up the Bible and it fell on Psalm 8. So we're going to go ahead and read that verse. Lord, I ask you that you open up our minds and our hearts so that we can hear, we can see um, you with a sound mind. Father God, guide our footsteps. Father God, thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing and um, abundance in our health, our lives, our family. Thank you for helping us to break generational curses, Father God. Thank you for helping us to be steadfast, Father God, and keep our eyes solely on you. There's going to be distractions all around us, Father God. Allow us to keep our eyes solely on you. You say your path is straight and narrow, Father God. Keep us straight and narrow, Lord Jesus, on your path, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 8. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught your children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them, yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. In the name of Jesus, amen. That's you gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O oh Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to go ahead while I'm here and continue over to um, Psalm 9. I will praise you, Lord, with, my, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies retreated, and they staggered and died when you appeared. For you have judged in my favor. From, the, from your throne you have judged with fairness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. The cities you uprooted are now forgotten. In the mighty name of Jesus. But the Lord reigns forever, executing judgment from his throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter up for the oppressed and a refuge in times of trouble. Thank you, Jesus. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Sing praises to the Lord who reigns in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. For he who avenges murder cares for the helpless. He does not ignore the cries of those who suffer. Lord, have mercy on me. See how my enemies torment me. Torment me. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Save me so I can praise you public, publicly, publicly at Jerusalem's gates. So I can rejoice that you have res rescued me in the name of Jesus. Amen. The nations have fallen into the pit they dug for others. Their own feet have been caught up in the trap that they set. The Lord is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. In the name of Jesus, amen. The wicked will go down to the grave. This is the fate of all the nations who ignore God. But the needy will be ignored forever. The, I'm sorry. But the needy will not be ignored forever. The hopes of the poor will not always be crushed. Arise, O Lord. Do not let mere mortals defy you. Judge the nations. Make them tremble in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that, they're, that they are merely humans. Okay? So that's what we have for this video. Lord, I thank you, Father God, because that was a message that I truly needed. Um, I've been emotional for the past three days, I must say. But I've also cried tears of joy because I know that God cannot tell a lie. I know that he's not no man. I know that he's a just man. He's the only man that's perfect. He's the only one that carried out God's um, order and done it gracefully and successfully. So therefore, I lean on God in everything, no matter what it looks like. I know that God is who he say he is. Like, share, subscribe. I love you.